A new cosmology study is adding weight to an unusual idea. Our galaxy may sit inside a large cosmic void, a region of space with fewer galaxies than average. By analyzing subtle distortions in ancient sound patterns from the early universe, researchers found evidence that this local underdensity could help explain why nearby measurements of cosmic expansion appear faster than expected. The findings don't rely on new physics, but instead on how large-scale structure affects what we observe. In this video, we will examine what the study found, why it matters, and what comes next. Let's get started. The research at the center of this discussion relies on baryon acoustic oscillations, often called BAOs. These are faint but measurable patterns in the large-scale distribution of galaxies, created by pressure waves that traveled through the early universe when matter and radiation were still tightly linked. Those waves left behind a characteristic physical scale. Because that scale is well understood, astronomers use it as a standard ruler to study cosmic expansion. By measuring how large this ruler appears on the sky at different redshifts, scientists can trace how distances evolve over time and how the universe has expanded since its early stages. In this study, researchers analyzed BAO measurements collected over more than 20 years. The data came from multiple galaxy surveys, each covering different regions of the sky and different cosmic epochs. Rather than focusing on the earliest universe, the analysis emphasized relatively low redshifts distances closer to our own cosmic neighborhood. What emerged was a consistent and structured deviation from standard expectations. The BAO ruler appears slightly larger on the sky than predicted, and this excess becomes more pronounced at closer distances. This behavior does not originate from a single survey, instrument, or observational method. It appears repeatedly across independent datasets. This pattern aligns with a specific physical interpretation. If our region of the universe contains less matter than average, gravitational forces would cause matter to flow outward towards surrounding denser regions. That motion subtly alters the way distances are measured and how light propagates through space. To an observer inside such an underdense region, nearby galaxies can appear to recede faster than expected even if the universe as a whole follows the standard expansion history. When the researchers compared cosmological models with and without a local underdensity, the difference was clear. Models including a large local void consistently reproduced the observed BAO patterns, while models assuming a uniform local universe struggled to do so. The statistical preference for the void scenario was strong. Importantly, the result did not depend on adjusting early universe physics or altering the underlying cosmological framework. It emerged from how late-time observations behave when interpreted in the context of large-scale structure. The broader importance of these findings becomes clear when placed in the context of the Hubble tension, the long-standing disagreement over how fast the universe is expanding today. Measurements tied to the early universe, particularly those involving the cosmic microwave background, predict a lower present-day expansion rate. In contrast, measurements based on nearby galaxies and supernovae consistently indicate a faster rate. The difference is persistent and has remained despite improvements in observational precision. Many proposed explanations attempt to resolve this tension by modifying the standard cosmological model. Some involve changes to the behavior of dark energy. Others introduce new particles or alter gravity itself. While these ideas are actively explored, none has achieved broad consensus or resolved the tension without introducing additional complications. The void hypothesis takes a different route. Rather than changing the laws governing the universe, it questions whether local observations can be directly compared to global predictions without accounting for environment. If we are located within a large, under-dense region, local measurements of expansion would naturally appear higher. The universe would still follow the same global expansion history inferred from early universe data, but observations made from inside the void 
would be biased by large-scale matter flows and gravitational effects. What makes the BAO analysis especially significant is that it provides an independent test of this idea. The study does not rely on local distance ladders or galaxy velocity measurements alone. Instead, it examines primordial structure imprinted across cosmic time, linking early universe physics to late-time geometry. The results indicate that a perfectly homogeneous version of the standard Lambda CDM model is in notable statistical tension with the BAO observations. By contrast, models that include a local underdensity fit the data without requiring additional assumptions or adjustments to early universe parameters. This does not imply that the universe is fundamentally inhomogeneous on the largest scales. Statistical uniformity can still hold when averaged over sufficiently large volumes. The void would be a regional feature, large enough to affect observations, but not large enough to invalidate cosmological principles. That said, the idea remains debated. Some researchers argue that observational systematics or survey selection effects could influence the BAO signal. Others question whether structure formation simulations naturally produce voids of the required scale and depth. These questions are now part of an active and ongoing discussion. If the void interpretation continues to hold up under scrutiny, its implications would be substantial. First, it would recast the Hubble tension as a local observational effect rather than a failure of cosmological theory. This would reduce the pressure to invoke new physics as the primary explanation, narrowing the range of possibilities that need to be explored. Second, it would highlight the role of cosmic environment in shaping observations. Measurements made from within a particular region of the universe may not always reflect global properties, especially when that region spans hundreds of millions of light years. Most importantly, the void hypothesis makes clear and testable predictions. The BAO standard ruler should continue to show characteristic distortions at low redshift. Future galaxy surveys with higher precision and broader sky coverage will be able to test this prediction directly. Independent observational probes will also play a key role. Gravitational lensing measurements can constrain how mass is distributed along the line of sight. Galaxy velocity fields can reveal large-scale flows of matter. Stellar age estimates can place limits on how cosmic expansion has evolved over time. Crucially, a local void does not alter the age of the universe itself. This provides a useful way to distinguish it from other proposed solutions to the Hubble tension, some of which would affect cosmic age estimates. The strength of the void hypothesis now lies in its falsifiability. Upcoming data will either reinforce its predictions or expose inconsistencies that require it to be revised or rejected. In cosmology, this is a critical step from speculation to testable science. New evidence suggests our galaxy may lie inside a large cosmic void affecting how we measure the universe's expansion. If confirmed, this could explain the Hubble tension without changing fundamental physics. Upcoming observations will determine whether this picture holds or needs to be revised.